there are some people who think that foreknowledge merely talks about God knowing everything beforehand, but he did not predetermine anything at all. He gives an absolute free rent to human being, supposedly free will, so to speak. Now, that couldn't be more wrong. If our God is only a God who has foresight of everything, but he doesn't intervene, then he is a passive onlooker only. He will be like a God who is always looking into the future and yet doing nothing. And then waiting for man to do something, then he reacts. I don't think I want to believe in such a God. And that will not give him all the glory that he is due. Our God is a God who has foreknowledge of all things, and especially pertaining to our salvation, he directly, he intently, and wholly intervenes in it. And because he foreordained all things, nothing can go wrong with his perfect salvationer plan. Because he had foreordained all things, none will be lost. Now, I'm going to end by saying this, okay? A famous theologian once said, if there is only one single event in this whole universe that is not foreordained, or predetermined by God, it's either God has no control over it, or God by his choice didn't determine how it will be, just that single event, let it run loose, that event will go out of hand to the point where it will ultimately jeopardize the salvation of the elect. So nothing is left to chance. So it's vital to know that we have a God who is fully in charge, just as he has given you and I relatively free will. Okay, let me say that, relative, not absolute. So relatively free will. The devil has his free will. The angels have their free will. But our God is a God who knows all things and who determines all things since from eternal past to eternal future. Amen to that? And that is why, brothers and sisters, let me tell you a secret. When we get to heaven, shortly after God put the crown of righteousness on our head, the next moment, we will lift it up and put it before His throne. You know that? Where do you get that? Revelation 4. Right? Let's look at Revelation. That's the last one for today. Revelation 4, chapter 10. You have it? Now, this is it. You have the 24 elders. Who are the 24 elders? The 24 elders represent all saints. They fall down before Him who sits on the throne and worship Him who lives forever and ever. Now, notice the next sentence. They lay their crown. We are all going to lay out. The crown was given us. Right? It's given us. But strangely, we lift it up and lay it where? Before the throne. Why? What do we say? What do we do that? We say, you are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. You, you are the one. Why are you worthy? Because why? He created all things. And by your will, they were created and have their being. Because everything is from Him, through Him, and to him. Right? When a crown is put up here, straight away we thought, you are the one who chose me. You predestined me. You redeemed me. You called me. And what is this crown doing on my head? Right? It belongs to you. And we gladly laid it upon his throne. And that is the ultimate reality about the foreknowledge of God.